Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. So today, guys, I want to talk to you about toxicity and when it becomes your reality because I just cannot help but notice. I mean, everybody's guilty of being a little bit toxic. Let me just say that everybody's guilty of it. You know, me, myself, I personally, I try not to be toxic, but my friend might be a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, I, everybody, you know, has like little toxic traits or whatever, but I can't help but to notice more and more, it just seems like people are accepting it as their reality. And the the more people are just, they're just being outright with it more and more. And it's like, it's the new normal. And how do we really expect change? How do we really expect progress if instead of trying to change the toxicity that we see around us or even our own toxic traits and habits, we're just accepting it as a part of our reality? Like where they do that? Where? I, I just don't understand guys. But that is something that I feel we all as a people need to address and we all need to start holding ourselves more accountable for it because I'm going to tell you we are not perfect and we know that. However, a part of progress and a part of growth and maturity is whenever you find yourself going back to your old ways, your old toxic traits, you catch yourself and you correct it. The problem is we tend to accept failure and defeat the first time. And you can't do that. You can't do that. Everything takes time. It, take, it even takes time to form habits. It took time for you to become toxic. So therefore, it's going to take time for you to untoxify yourself or detoxify or whatever you would like to call it there. It doesn't matter as long as you get the point. You feel me? But guys, the thing is, we are just steadily, continuously manifesting toxicity by putting it out there. Things that we um, are accepting, you know, it's crazy because I know even myself, I have seen to where I have made some posts of my opinions of things that some people say are toxic, which is true, which is very true. However, you know, negative and negative don't make positive because from there, people proceeded to go and be toxic underneath it under the guise of growth and teaching. And you can't do, you can't do that. You can't do that. The toxic has become such a part of our reality that people have become so jaded that now they are labeling others with the toxicity that they themselves are immersed with and around what is their normal what is their reality they're forcing upon others and you can't do that me personally i don't put anybody into a whole fucking category or label just because through my life experience through travel being in the military i have been blessed to come across different people from various walks of life various races etc and I have met a lot of toxic people from different cultures. And I have learned that some of them, that toxicity has become their reality, not by choice, but from their environment, from where they came from. And they were open to change. They just did not know any better. So therefore, instead of just going ahead and labeling people, sometimes people don't know any better. Sometimes people, that's all they see around them. And instead of just instantly going and judging them, casting judgment, what we need to do, the uh, us untoxic people, since there are so many of us that claim to be not toxic when everybody does have toxic traits, okay? So let he without uh, sin cast the first stone, you feel me? However, whoever is the least toxic or whatever you wanna call it, instead of casting judgment on people, you know, making that toxicness their reality or your reality for them. How about each one teach one? Alrighty, because some people genuinely don't know better. Some people, yes, are products of their environments. However, they would like to experience different. And it's one thing to see it on TV, 
but it's another thing to be in close proximity or contact with somebody who is willing to teach you or take the time out to point out your toxic ways in a form of constructive criticism and besides that help you or show you or tell you how to fix it but we also need to take initiative because this reality that we all have chosen that is so toxic is not healthy for us hence the word toxic and it is killing us as a nation all righty it's killing the unity everything people are so caught up on color not realizing we claim we want unity but there is still so much division between us and it's like why you want to really unify help each other stop making this toxicness your reality this there's still segregation there's a segregation of minds going on that is toxic and that's the reality that we need to change that's going on right now, okay? That's where we make the difference. It all starts in your mind. I think that people, we need to take more consideration into the things that we put out because that's how the toxicity starts. Although we say we are adverse to toxic people, things, and whatever else, that is all that we keep on putting out there. Alrighty, I see so many people. I have so many friends on social media who say they want better, but they're putting so much toxicity out. Okay? We have to do better. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna hold myself more accountable as well. I mean I'm still gonna be a <laughs> I'm still gonna be ratchet. I'm not even gonna front y'all. Sorry, not sorry. But the toxicity, let's replace that with love. How about that? Let's replace that with teaching. They both start with a T, why not? It's better because this toxic that is our reality, it is killing us slowly. It is a poison. Toxic equals poison. And we are poisoning ourselves. The man don't even have to do it anymore. We're so preconditioned to it. Alrighty, our hearts say we want better, but our actions have made toxic our reality and we have to change it right now is the time where now that we are abreast of the situations going on outside of ourselves and within ourselves or you're becoming more aware the universe is making you more aware now is the time to put forth those concentrated efforts ask the universe to help you pray and spirit will guide you along Break those chains. Break those. That's how those generational curses, they start with that toxic shit. You feel me? That's what you guys are manifesting. Stop it. Stop. I know it's going to be hard, but I tell you what, every time you fuck up, don't beat yourself up about it. Just try again. Okay? Keep trying. And pretty soon, it'll just be natural. And then you won't want to even be around toxic people or toxic things. And your vibration will continue to raise and raise and raise. And you'll be a magnet for positive things. Toxicity won't even want no parts of you. Okay? That's how you start. That's the start. And I would greatly appreciate it if as many people who watch this would take that into consideration. Alrighty, I'm not trying to point fingers at anybody. I'm talking to everyone. I myself am guilty of this as well. And I am aware we all need to make a more concentrated effort to stop making toxic our reality. Stop putting out all this negative toxicity in social media and everything. Show us the good stuff. It's okay to bear your hearts. It's okay to show us the good side. It's okay to put out what you really want. Okay? Instead of that toxicness. Because whatever you put out is what you will receive. Okay? So stop making toxic our reality. Because it does not just affect you. It affects everyone. Toxicity is like sonar waves. You don't see it, but it spreads all over. And that's not what we want to do, okay? Right now, 
We need to restore the world to balance. We need to raise the vibration. We need to release the negativity and the toxicity that has been slowly building and manufacturing and spreading throughout our communities. We need to forget about race, okay, in order to build because one day there will be no black and white. <laughs> there will not, regardless of what you want to say. We can all learn from each other. Everybody you come across can teach you something. Even if they teach you what not to do, everybody you come across can teach you something. Alrighty? So stop looking at things and stop labeling things in a toxic way. Alrighty? And look at them as lessons and blessings and put positivity out to replace the toxicity that is around you and you'll be surprised at how your environment will change. It's not going to happen overnight. The world was not even built in a day, but it will happen. The change starts with us, guys. That's why I always, 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 no matter how toxic I am that day, I try not to be. I always, always, always try to come from a place of love. And sometimes I'm considered toxic, but really I'm not. I'm just trying to help. But a lot of times when you're saying things that people don't want to hear, you may be considered toxic. It all depends though. But toxic things and toxic people tend to try to generalize or stereotype or compartmentalize things, thoughts, or ideals in order to fit their claim or their cause. And it is not so. It's not so. Stir that around in your head a little bit. Dig deep into what I just said. You know what I'm saying? Spect it a few ways. Look it upside down. Hmm. Looks good, I like this. Open it up. Shit, oh, okay. Dig around in it. Oh. Pull some stuff out. Look at it. Put it back. Take that point. With that being said, guys, you know I don't want to stay too long. I love you and be safe and less toxic.